All right, welcome to bar. My name is Jenny and we're gonna get going. So we're gonna start standing today. We're gonna roll your shoulders back. Feet are nice and wide. You can be up here or you can bend your knees a little bit, up to you. Just begin to roll your head side to side. I might straighten my knees, otherwise I'll get dizzy. Good, it's B-Y-O-M for your own music. So. It goes side to side, just a nice little half. Head rolls here. Are you breathing? Good, all right, walk those feet back in. And then you're just gonna turn, so your feet are like a little bit wider than hips, I would like to think. So you're gonna roll your shoulder forward, take your arm up and around, back to the side. Roll forward, up and around, here we go. Roll forward, up and around, forward, up and around. You can take a little bit of like a hip. I'm taking quite a bit of a hip, um, what do you call that? I'm bringing my hip with me, I'm taking it around with my arm. Yeah, just working through that shoulder. Good. One more. Excellent. Feet again are a little bit wider than your hip. And then just go ahead and roll all the way down. Hands on the ground, bend your knees, sit your hips down, straighten your legs as much as you can. And then hips down, hips up. Woo, stretching through the back of your legs. Toes can be slightly out or forward. Good. Nice. Last one, all right, roll it up. Awesome, head side to side. Just nice little gentle rolls along the front. If you got some dramatic hair going, that's also fine. Good. All right, head back on top of your spine. So turn your shoulder forward, up and around. So roll that shoulder forward, up and around. Roll forward, and around. Roll forward, and around. Good, keep it going. Roll, and around. Roll, and around. Good, roll, and around. Good. Nice, good rolls, and around. Sweet. Really working through that shoulder. Good, last one, here we go. All right, roll it down. Hands to the ground, bend your knees, sink your hips down, straighten those legs as much as you can. Hips down, hips up. Hips down, and up. Hips down, and up. Down, and up. Leave your hips up as much as you can with your hands on the ground and then just take your hips a little inside, take your hips a little the other side. Good, side to side, a little, almost like a hip wiggle here. Just really working through that inner thigh. You should feel it. You're like, ooh, I'm pretty tight through here, I guess. My hip wiggle's not that intense, but it feels really good. Good, bend both knees, roll all the way up. Excellent, you can take your feet a little bit wider if you'd like. We're gonna be in, get into bend, only bend into one knee. So here we go. Bend over and back. Bend over and back, all right. So out to the side and back, good. Sweeping side, sweep back. Sweep side and back. 
Good, using your breath. This is where it's gonna get real fun. Already we're adding on. You know it's gonna be a good day. Good, all right, leave it over in this nice side position here. You can hang on to your hip or you can do whatever you want. Heel lifts and lowers. Heel lifts and lowers. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep going, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. A few more, good. Ooh, how's that leg coming? One more. Good, take it back up. Here we go, stretch over. Over and back, over and back. Good. Nice, other side, ready? Here we go, over and back. One knee bends, yeah? You can pull that shoulder blade behind you. <sighs> Good. Ah, nice big inhale. You can make it as dramatic as you want. Good, this time leave it over. Sweet, just as open inside, heel lifts. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Keep it going, here we go. Whew. We did quite a few on the other side. Nice. Few more, here we go. Make it burn a little bit. Or a lot. Last one. All right, over and back. Good. Go at a pace that works for you. It can be slower, faster, it might depend on your music. Might depend on your body. Might depend on your internet connection, amen. Good, <laughs> keep going. Good, all right, just take it in just a little bit if you got super wide there. Kind of shake it out, here we go. So you're gonna go plie and lift. Plie, heels up, 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 plie, again, heels up, plie, heels up, plie. Heels up. All right, two by two, here we go. So you're gonna go down for two, stand up. 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 Down for two, and up. Down for two, and up. Again, down, two, and up. Down, Two, and up, stay down, here we go, pulses. Good. Getting right in there, roll your shoulders back. Two heels, two, and two. Good, two, and two, nice. Two, and two, two, and two, good, stand all the way up, squeeze your butt at the top. We're gonna really work to squeeze our bum at the top. So knees go wide, your butt goes straight down. Stand all the way up, down and up. Down and up. Down, squeeze at the top. 
So they're a little bit slower and that's purposeful so that you can get in really nice and deep. So almost think about these thighs getting parallel if you can and then squeezing all the way up, really focusing on that up. Yes. So unlike last week, we won't have a ton of squats. Thank goodness. So we're just gonna get some nice gentle ones in right here, as gentle squats can be. Good, let it go. Make your way on over to your bar. So we have a little bit of a combo bar and no bar for this first one. So whenever you're ready, you're gonna find this nice plie behind you. So you're gonna plie, step in, reach up and over. Yes, step away, plie, step in, reach up and over. Good, go whenever you're ready, plie, up and over, plie, up and over. Good. Make sure that you're breathing. Nice. Keep it going. Good. Dun, dun, dun. Nice, really reaching through that leg, reaching through that arm. Make sure you're still using your breath here. Good. Good. Should be getting there, should be starting to burn. Something, at least a hip, maybe. Good, one more. Leave it here. Here we go. Down and up. Up and down. 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 Up. And down. up. Leave it up. Pulses. Pulse. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, whoa, that burns through that hip, yeah? All right, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Good. Good, whoa, take it back. Excellent, work through your feet. We're gonna work through your hips instead of our prance. We're gonna do it out a little bit different, kind of get our heart rate up a little bit in between here. So arms reach up, knee comes down, point your toe as you reach up and down. Good. Keep it going. Nice, breathe it out. Nice long spine here, point your toe. Good, let it go. I'm just moving my chair to the other side. You can simply flip around. Good, all right. So finding that curtsy on the other side. Curtsy, up and over. Curtsy, up and over. Nice, going right into it. Whenever you're ready, jump in. Good. Nice. You got this. Breathe. So we did a ton of these last time, so just stick with it. Stick with your music, or you can stick with me. Make sure that you're happy with your curtsies though, right? You're happy with your up and over. If it feels a little rushed, it's okay, slow it down. I think it's actually more of a brain workout if you're not going the same pace as me because you're like, you have to be really confident in what you're doing, right? Really dedicated to the movement. When you start to go a different pace, you're like, no, I'm gonna get this workout for me and it's harder on your brain, right? 
So do what's working for you. Okay, keep going. Nice, you got this. Oh, I'm feeling it finally in the other hip. Oh, it's getting good. Nice, breathe. Definitely creating some heat. Get a few more. One more. All right, stay at the bar this time. Up and down. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Good. Just trying to keep that bottom shoulder away from your ear, yeah? Okay. Breathe. Pedal to the metal, it feels like. All right, pulses, here we go. Eight, seven, six, yeah, two sets. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee, bend and straighten. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend. Keep going, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend. Good, a few more. Ooh, yep, there it is. Oh, let it go. Face your bar again, instead of our prance out, we have knee lifts. All right, so make sure that you're not rocking side to side on these, you're trying to stay nice and center. Still out of engagement, should make it a little harder, arms up, inhale. Excellent, here we go, bend, 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 knees up, point your toe. Good, elbows come down as your knees come up. Good, even though your arms are shooting up, are your shoulders still staying pretty down? Still using your breath, good. Nice, let it go. Inhale, arms up, exhale over. Bend one knee for two, other knee for two. Bend both knees, roll it up. Good, inhale, arms up, exhale over. Bend one knee, then the other. Bend both, roll it up. Here we go, again, inhale, exhale. Bend one, then the other. Bend both, roll it up. Good, inhale up. Exhale over, last time, bending one. Then the other, bend both, roll it up. Sweet, ooh, hair flip at the end is optional. I'm ready. So, I'm just gonna take this to, I think I can do it behind and you'll still see me. Um, but you can put your chair wherever, okay? So feet are nice and wide, maybe a little bit wider than your chair if you have a standard chair or counter, just gonna eyeball it, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna start just bending and up, bend and up. So really squeeze your bum at the top. So if I come to you from the side, I'm dropping straight down. So I'm in this nice plie squat right here, yeah? Make sure that you're not on your bar and you're not doing this, like your butt's not going to the back. Your butt is going straight down. Tuck your tailbone under. Good. And of course, this is actually just a setup for what we got next, yeah? Good, so you know we did those curtsies and then up and over? We're gonna just go from squat up and over. Yes, squat up and over. Squat up and over. So whenever you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and go. A little option, let me give it to you real fast, is you're gonna go squat. Maybe you leave your foot on the ground and you just point that toe. Do you see that action happening? Good. Breathe, roll your shoulders back. Here we go. Down, up, down, 
and up, down and up, down. So you choose how high that leg goes. It doesn't have to go crazy high. It can maybe just go to that diagonal, right? Use your chair though as a guide. Make sure your feet aren't getting too close together, right? Mine are getting a little close. So as you step, I'm gonna try to step back to my wide plie. Use your chair's guidance. Especially when you get tired, you got it. Keep going. Good. One more. Good, plie down, pulses. Find your breath, roll your shoulders back. Oh, we're just working right into it today. Nice, let your shoulders come down. They don't have to be super deep. Just keep up the intensity. Good, lift your heels up, knees sink down. Little pulses to the back. I'm gonna walk my feet in just a hair. Sink back down, Heel pulses to the back. So knees go back, go back, go back, good. Finding your breath. Okay, we got another set of them, but we're gonna do double pulses, lift. Double pulses, lift. Yes, okay. Remember, use your chair as a guide. Try to keep your heels either in like no closer in than your chair legs, yeah? All right, <laughs> easier said than done. We'll start with your double pulses. Ready, set, and go. Here we go, two. Two, stretch, two, two, stretch, two, two, stretch. Nice. So then if you tend to not land in it, you'll definitely get there with that double pulse. Good. All those feet, are you still trying to set them down wide? Ooh, yeah. Good, and you're done. Woo! All right, I'm just gonna move my chair back. Hopefully yours is already back there. You got those knee pulls one more time. Arms up, take a breath. Here we go, point your toes up and up. Up and up, up and up, up, good. Good, let it go. All right, we're gonna set you up for this next one. A little more cardio, we did a ton of toning in the last class. So a little more cardio in this one, yeah? All right, so set yourself up to where your hands would come down onto that chair or your forearms. I kind of like the heel of my hands be able. So that's how far back I am. Yes. So what's gonna happen is your arms are gonna reach up. Your knee's gonna come up. You're gonna kick it back, knee in, kick it back, knee up, set it down. Yes, knee up, back, in, back, in, up, set it down. Again, in, back. In, back, in, stand up, set it down. Now, of course, the trick is here. You can work on your balance. You cannot use your chair at all if you want. Good. Knee up, take it back. Knee in, take it back. Knee in, stand it up, set it down. Good. Knee up, take it back. Knee in, take it back. Knee up, set it down. Knee in, back, and back, and up. And down. Up. Good. In. In. Good. So I guess it's technically three ends. I was like, where's my rhythm here? In. Take it back. Three. Two. This time. 
Leave it in, stand it up, take it down, up. Three, two, up and down. Back, 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 up and down. Good, back. Oh, I'm skipping a knee bend. I was like, where is that working out? Knee up, take it back, take it back, take it back and up. Good, knee up. Still engaging your core, yes. Nice long pendulum type motion here. Nice, let that go. Woo, all righty. So we're gonna take some, what do you call it? Quite, not quite taste. I'm not even gonna like try to think of language today. Here we go. So take it back behind you and then you're gonna take it so your knee comes in. So option here, knee can come in or can come out to the side. You're gonna really work under your butt if it goes straight in, working more of those front abs. When you take it to the side, you're gonna work more into your back right here and you'll work more on this, this outside angle. So kind of just decide what you wanna do if you wanna switch halfway through. I won't tell you when that is, but you know, you can do a combo. So I'm gonna take it out to the side because that's what I wanna work on. So I'm gonna take it straight back and then straight side. Straight back, straight side. So if you want, you can be up here. If you tend to have low back issues though, definitely lean over onto those forearms. Good. Nice. You got this. You've almost earned your floor time. Good. If you've never worked in sales, you're like, floor time's not really something I want to earn. <laughs> well, it is in bar. You're almost there. Good. All right, take it back. Your knee's going to bend in. Sorry, hold on. Back, out to the side. Yeah, there it goes. So here's the difference. Your hips are going to face the ground this time. Knee is, I mean, your heel is kicking towards your bum as best you can. Extend that back. Open up your hips to the side. Extend it side. Bring it back. Extend it back. Bring it side. Extend it side. Drop your hip. Take it back. Knee open to the side, kick it side. Back and back, side and 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 side. Good, stay to the side. Kicks, here we go. Kicking side, try to get it parallel with your hips. Breathe. Woo -hoo. Oh, let that go. Ah, la, 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 la. Some good stuff. All right, you can keep your chair where you're at. We got the same side. I'm just switching for your visual reminder of what you're doing, but you can stay where you're at. Kind of blowing through these today, so no need to switch. All right. Again, be on your forearms or be up here, depending on what your back appreciates. All right, so you can be out to the side or you can be dead in. So you're staying side or back and side, yes? If you don't want to worry about your hip placement, it's best if you just keep your knee in like this because it's the same motion to go side and back. If you want to, you know, kind of change up your life, you can take that knee out to the side for the back. And again, you can be dramatic like I am. See this lean that I'm, I am keep doing whenever I go back? That's just me trying to keep my back in a line. If I really wanna work on those back muscles, I'm gonna try to stay upright. You can even bring one hand to your belly to remind you, oh, I'm not gonna dump towards that chair. I'm gonna to try to keep everything in a line here. I'm not gonna let my belly drop or dump rather. 
and I'm not gonna let my chest dump to the chair. It's a nice little reminder. Once you think you got it, you can put your hand back on the chair or you can leave it on your belly. Good, again, always an option if your low back is not your best friend already. You can like just be on your forearms here. Good, breathe. <laughs> nice. Few more, yeah. Not as many on the next one, takes a little more brain power for that next exercise, right? Good, last one, here we go. Maybe lean over on your forearms this time, maybe not. Bend your knee towards your butt and extend. Bend your knee towards your butt, take your knee out to the side, extend. Knee drops, extend. Knee to the side, extend. So it doesn't drop technically. It's just going back underneath you. Hip open on the side, extend. Hip down, extend. Hip side, extend. Hip down, extend. So my knee comes in line with my hip here on that side. It's really hard to articulate it. I keep wanting to smooth it out, but that's not what we're doing here. Woo! We're again killing that standing leg, amen. Ah. Keep articulating out, use your brain. You got this, mind over matter. You're almost there. Last one to the front, kick, 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 kick. You can kick fast, just make sure that this part of your leg is staying still. Good, try to get that knee higher, knee higher, breathe. Keep your thighs steady if you can. Good, let it go. Oh man. All right, do we work out? Hopefully your back, hopefully your butt. Hopefully you got a lot going on there. Good, move your chair out of the way or whatever you got, if it's on your mat like me. Nice. And then just make your way on down to your mat. Good. All the way down. Ah, so nice. All right. So, extend your front leg up. So your back foot is just flat on the ground like this. Yes, we're gonna go all one leg and then we'll go all the other leg, you'll see why. So, you're gonna go across knee to elbow here and then bring your, bend your knee and bring it in knee to elbow. Yes, so straight leg crunch to the side, bent knee crunch, yeah? Both are side crunches. You're going across your body each time, go whenever you're ready. Just one time your knee is bent, the other time your knee is straight. Try to actually tap nicely your knee each time. So it's gonna be harder on that straight leg. If you don't make it, that's fine, but that's what you're shooting for. That's gonna really help you get that full shoulder blade off the ground, that full twist. Good. Nice, stick with it, you got it. One more with the bent knee. Good, let it go. Let your head rest on the ground. Find your breath. All right, here's the next sequence we got. Don't worry, we'll come back to the other side. So legs are nice and straight. This is one of those you can have your hands by your side, behind your head, or maybe right underneath your hips. Kind of depends on you. So your legs are going to lower. You're going to take them to a V and then circle them back up. Yes? So legs lower, 
find a V and come back up, meeting at the top. Good, legs lower, find your V, circle back up. One more, this pace, V and back up. So here, let me demo your pace. You're gonna go down, two and around. Down, two and around. Down, two and around. Jump in if you haven't. Down, two and around. Down, two and around. Down, two and around. Good, down, two and around. Down, two and around. Ooh, this is so good for your abs. Down, two and around. Down, two and around. Down, two and around. Good, Woo, legs are up. Drop that front leg. Back leg stays up. Bring your hands either to your temples or behind your head. Make sure you're not closing in like this. Elbows are nice and wide, which will be easier when you do that cross twist, right? All right, other side for that cross. So knee to elbow, and then bend your knee to elbow. Straight leg to elbow, bent leg to elbow. Good, keep going. I'm facing the back, so I'm not gonna talk to you as much. Good. Still trying to get that elbow to your knee? Both times, or at least your leg on that straight leg. Find that full twist. You got this. You can go slower or faster, up to you. Just have integrity each time, really shooting to get that elbow to touch your leg. Nice. Maybe commit to not going until you find that leg with your elbow. Good, keep going, a few more. Breathe through it, you got this. Last one. Good, lay it back down. Woo, all right, legs up. Again, hands can be behind your head, by your side, under your butt, wherever you want them to be. Helping you or not helping you. Remember, if it ever gets too easy, move your hands out from underneath your butt or move them to the back of your head. Whatever you need to do to make it harder. Here we go, drop for two. To your V, we're gonna go slow first. Take it up and around. Mind over matter, right? Take it down. V, up and around. Use your breath. V, up and around, sorry. There we go. Drop, and V, take it up and around. My abs are burning in a good way. They're not too intense, but ooh, they're there. Good. <sighs> All right, can we take it to tempo? Ready? Here we go. Down, two, V and around. And down, two, and around. Woo! Down, two, and around. Down for two and around. Keep your low back glued to the ground as best you can. Down two and around. You got this. Keep going. Down two and around. Down two and around. Two more. Down two and around. One more. Down two and around. Ooh, thank goodness. Ha! All right, roll over 
onto your hands and knees. So we have um, plank into downward dog. If you're feeling super stellar, you can add a push up in there. So I'll just demo that real fast and then I'll give you your modification. So you're here, right? So you're gonna go back to a, a downward dog, bring it back through and if you want, you can add a push up here. Or you can just plank to downward dog, which is what I'm gonna do. If that's still like a little too intense for you, set up for that knee plank, yes? So make sure that your knees are a little bit further back so you're actually feeling your abs engaged. Cause like right here, abs don't really engage very much, right? So make sure that those hips become this nice long diagonal line. And then you're gonna send it back almost like child's pose style. So just leaving your knees where you're at, make sure you get those hips down in the line. You feel your abs engage before you send it back. So if you need just like a more restorative, if you're just having one of those days, just take it. Otherwise, find your plank, back downward dog, just rotating through. Make sure that you pause at each pose so you really got it. I don't believe in drive-by poses, which is why I don't teach a ton of power yoga. Because sometimes it feels like drive-by until you really get into it. Good. So make sure you feel that engagement before you move on. Good. Use your breath. And if you're like, this feels really easy, well, add in that push up. It's there for a reason. If you're like, this doesn't feel easy, I'm doing fine here, then, you know, stick with it. Other option is you can bring your knees to the ground for that plank and then send it back downward dog. If you don't want quite the restorative option here. Good, all right, bring those knees down. Get off those hands. Ooh, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna go ahead and stretch you out while you're on the ground. So take those knees nice and wide on your mat. Toes come together. Ooh, get nice and long. Child's pose, that's what we're in. Good. come on up. So I keep getting a lot of requests for IT bands. So spread your fingers nice and wide. Take your feet back in the plank. Ha ah, ha, down dog. He just thought you were done. All right, and then take your front leg, whatever that is, up. Step it through for a lunge. Yes, so we're in our lunge. Good job. Excellent. Turn your fingers of your back hand to face your foot almost. A little bit more at that diagonal. Good, and then roll onto the knife edge of your back foot. Let your hip drop. So I'm kind of like hugging my knee because my foot wants to come off the ground. That just shows you how tight I am right through there. Good. So you can stay here and just kind of stretch through your IT band. Flex this bottom foot that is now on the ground. Otherwise, if you want to come with me, take your arm up, lift up, and back down. Yeah, you can adjust this hand if you need it a little further from you, the standing hand. Good, press up and back down. Good, press it up and back down. Take a little bit of strength if you want. Keep it up for three breaths, three. Three long ones, so I mentioned that. <laughs> Good, breathe. Good, and then take your hip down to the ground. You can just hug your knee if your knee's kind of like, I don't like this, just hug your knee. Good, and then reach back, coming onto your toes, step it back, downward dog. Good, same thing, other side. Again, I'm not gonna turn around, I'll just face the back. So take your other leg up, bring it through for that lunge. Good, step one, breathe. Turn your supporting hand, 
at a little bit of that diagonal. Good, and then begin to lower your hips down. Yes, and then so your knife edge of your back foot or your long leg will come to the ground. So adjust your standing hand however much you want or need to. Again, maybe just hugging in this leg towards your body. And maybe you're just gonna work to get this bottom leg straight and just hang on to your front knee. You can stay here or you can bring some movement into it, just kind of work through your IT band and your hips, obviously. So go ahead and press your hips up and bring them back down, hugging that knee again. Good, arm reaches up, press your hips up, back down, hug your knee. Good, hips lift up, back down. This time, stay up if you can. Good, three long breaths. Good, lower back down, breathe. Nice, all right, and then turn yourself back to the front. Tuck your back toes under, send it back, downward dog. Good, bring your knees down to the ground. And then go ahead and sit down on your bum. Bring the soles of your feet together. Good, sit up nice and tall. <sighs> Good, and maybe hang on to your ankles here so you can really press those knees down, open up the soles of your feet. And then with a the flat back, begin to fold forward. Nice. Definitely breathe. Again, I'm kind of using my elbows to press my legs even further down to the ground. Good. All right, come on up, open up those legs, finding a split. If you wanna to come to full splits, you can, to whatever capacity you want. Good, all right, take that left arm up, inhale, over to the side, maybe dropping your arm the other direction. You can also use it to reach for your foot. Good, breathe. And then roll through the center, just walk your hands to the center. Maybe just coming out as far as you can. You can flex or point your toes here. Breathe. Good, set yourself all the way up. Good, stretch it to the other side. Inhale, arm reaches up, get really tall first. And then exhale over. Again, maybe you can use this bottom elbow if it's already down on the inside of your leg to press your chest more open to the side. Again, flexing your feet or pointing them, but choose. Don't let them just hang out. Good. If you want, you can also reach for your foot with this bottom hand, maybe even hanging onto your arm or finding your foot if that's available to you. Whatever works. Good. Let yourself walk through the middle. Woo! See where your hands lie, land. Oh, and breathe it out for sure. Good, walk yourself back up. Bring those legs in together. Ah la la. Good, all right, come back onto your hands and knees here. And then you're just gonna let your hips fall to one side and back at an angle. So you can sit back as far as you want, as back as feels comfortable, or you can stay up here and then just take your hips to the side. Does that make sense? So you can either stay kind of like in this tabletop and just a slight hip to the side, or you can really like dig in and set it back at that angle. Good, come back to middle and then take it to the other side. 
should be feeling all kinds of things, especially after the splits. All right, let's work through those shoulders. Let's just stretch out those shoulders. We didn't use them much, but that's kind of where like some people hold a lot of tension. So go ahead and take your back arm up, inhale, exhale, weave it through coming onto the side of your face. Just really breathe into it, relax here. Enjoy your shoulder stretch. Place your head on the ground if it's not already. And press into your supporting hand to bring yourself back up. Take your other arm up and weave it through. Good, press in your supporting hand, bring you back up. Tuck your toes under and begin to walk yourself back onto your feet. Place your knees on the ground, sit up, Woo! Stretch out those feet. If you're like, I don't feel a stretch in my feet, just walk your knees forward a step, oh, and you'll feel it. While you're here, try to not be like, you know, dejected teenager, roll your shoulders back so nice and tall. Good, use your breath. Even if it gets intense in your feet, use your breath. All right, place those hands on the ground. Take your knees off, forward fold. Good, breathe into it. You can put a little bend in your knees if you need to. Maybe shake out your head yes and no here. Good, bend your knees, roll it all the way up. So we did a ton of cardio today. We really got your heart rate going, your body kind of freaking out a little bit. So it's really important that we take you all the way back down more than some of the other classes, just really starting to move very slow towards the end. Hopefully you're noticing that right about now. Good. And then take your ear to one shoulder. If you wanna add weight, you can, or you just let it fall. Just don't pull on your head, please. Take some breaths, just let it soak in. Slow your roll for about five seconds. And then just let your head come back and forth, side to side, rolling around the front, back where we began. Make sure you're breathing here. Good, and then let your head come back on top of your spine. Inhale, exhale, other ear to other shoulder. Again, you can add weight if you like, just really breathe. Try to relax. I know, easier said than done, you got this. Good, and let your head roll side to side. Good, all right, we're gonna go ahead and take some of those shoulder roll outs, then we're gonna take some of those roll downs and then it'll be done, yeah? So, shoulder forward and around, forward and around, forward and around, forward and around, good, roll down. Bend your knees, chest up, Straighten your legs, bend your knees, straighten your legs, roll it up. Shoulders at the top, good. Other shoulder, here we go. Forward and around, forward and around, forward and around, forward and around, roll it down. Bend your knees, chest up, hips up, chest up, roll it up. Nice, roll the shoulders back, take one foot behind you, inhale, exhale, and you're all set, way to work. Hope you guys had fun, use your brains, and I will see you next time.